What's up you guys? We are back in my backyard. Just came back from Greece and you know what? Drone laws have changed so I thought I'd make a new video about this. It's stupid bright outside. I should have probably had my glasses on. I want to talk to you guys about drone laws in Canada and what's going on, how to pass. I got my basic pilot license right there. I want to talk to you about that. What I did to pass how to sign up, how to register your drone, because I'm sure many of you guys bought a drone recently or in the past couple months and realized that as of last month, they have new laws where you can no longer fly this bad boy here without a license. To be honest, I think it's pretty stupid. The one that I'm using is a DJI Spark, which is a 300 gram drone. And if the drone is any weight under 250, you don't need a license so unless DJI makes a drone smaller than the spark then you don't need a license but until then you do if you're in Canada nowhere else in the world needs it so yeah welcome to Canada guys first things first I absolutely did not study for this exam whatsoever the only thing I did was register for my drone and that was my only intention I was like you know what let me just register it because I was gonna travel to Greece and if I'll fly it anyway I don't think I'll get caught and if I do we'll figure it out but while I registered the option of pick your exam popped up and I was like you know what it's only 10 bucks i had 90 minutes to do it 30 multiple choices how hard can this be so i was like screw it let me just do it and uh first impression it actually was harder than i thought because there were multiple technical questions in there um that i was like only a pilot would know things like that but the good part is that i found a bunch of good links that I did all my research on and uh, I passed. I got a 74% and I think you need a, a 60 to pass. And I've heard a bunch of you guys have been studying as well and it's like a 300 page book of a manual that you have to read. And yeah, I think that is true, but it's complete bogus. I think you can definitely pass without studying if you are good at research so uh, if you can do that within 90 minutes i highly recommend that you just not study because <laughs> you're gonna be wasting a lot of time and you'd rather be flying that drone than uh studying anyway so i'll put up another vid on top of this to show what type of questions that i was searching um and like keywords as well that linked me to certain websites and I feel like there were only like three or four websites that it kept popping to anyway. So it's not like you'll be searching all over the internet. Um, most of the information I just found there and like literally control F, put in a few keywords from the questions or sometimes the answers of the questions. And you just have to kind of look around and find it. It's not that hard. I still had 30 minutes to go and I was done my exam. And yeah, I passed guys. So uh I'll put the links below in the description as well for you to check out those websites. But if you're thinking of doing your exam, um, take the basic license. It's pretty cheap. If you want to fly this bad boy here, then uh, it's like a must do. Well, otherwise, you're going to have to pay like a five grand fine. And uh, that thing itself is only like seven, eight hundred bucks. So you might as well just take your exam. You know, it's like ten bucks. So yeah, I mean, if you really want, you can fly it without the license as well. But to not worry about things, there's my brother down there as well. You probably can't see him in there. He's listening. Um, but to avoid any trouble and fly worry-free, I definitely recommend to just do your license, get your basic certificate, and um, yeah, just pass it. And if you don't pass it the first time, I mean, just there's no like limited tries. I think you just have to wait 24 hours or 48 hours to take another one, but I'm sure you guys will pass. It's not tough. Some of the other YouTube videos are making it sound like it's so hard and you gotta study all this and like do this and do that and like it's so hard and it's pilot related questions and analytic quest analytical questions, technical questions, but like it's not bad. So just search it on Google, you'll pass. Peace.